You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. Hey guys, so me and my beautiful wife Sharice here. Hey everybody. We're here at Titan Medical Center headquarters and we're waiting on Generation Iron to show up. Um, we're gonna do a short documentary on us to show, I guess, our story, show some of our services, um, get some testimonials from some real people who got real results, um, and just show you why Titan Medical Center is the best choice you can make. We are super, super excited to get this documentary done because we've been open for almost 12 years now. And it has been quite a journey for me and John and we want to share that with the world. Now, we've always talked about doing our own documentary, which we will still do. However, this will be a nice short snippet so that it'll kind of, you know, everybody can watch it and see how Titan grew into the massive creator of optimal health. So come along with us behind the scenes. I hope you guys like it. What's up guys, today we're at the Socorus compound, that's right, the Titan Medical Center compound, doing our interviews with Generation Iron. They wanted to follow us around, see how our day was, see where we live and how we live and all about the Titan lifestyle. And then we're gonna head back over to Titan Medical Center headquarters to do some more uh, testimonials because real patients, real results, that's what matters. And uh, some other behind the scenes and B-roll and stuff like that. And then learning more of the story of Titan Medical Center and how we came to be. So you guys are gonna get to see these behind the scenes from us. And then you guys will get to see the final edit from Generation Iron on their page and on our pages too as well. So stay tuned. I think you guys are going to love it. What's up, guys? Today we are hanging out with Generation Iron. I got Vlad and Edwin here. And uh, we're going to be doing some behind the scenes, some testimonials, and I guess uh, an interview with me. So... At that point, very excited to have these guys down here. Thank you guys for making the trip down here. sayings that the old timers used to tell you and you just used to push it off why well, I found out they're all true except for one I'll sleep when I die man this was my motto in my 20s and 30s I used to rock and roll and burn the candle at both ends at all times but I found out in my 40s I was doing myself a real disservice and this is because sleep is so essential for so many different things in your body from your mental clarity to your energy, to protecting your brain from neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's or dementia, sleep is one of the most important things to get you on track and to keep you on track and to keep you healthy. So get the proper rest. And if you're not getting the proper rest, we have different Titan therapies here like Titan Serenity or any of our GHRH therapy peptides that can help you get that sleep back on track and start getting that deep sleep to help revitalize, rejuvenate, and repair your body. So if you're having sleep problems and you want help, we can help you at Titan Medical Center. Just call or text us 727-389-3220. We'll wait to hear from you to get you better sleep. What's up guys? I'm John and here's my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey everybody. And we are doing another Titan Medical Moon Review just for you. That's right, so tonight we got to see Kingdom of the Planet of Apes. And this was uh, the next in line for the last movie. And it follows how when Caesar, how he became and how the apes started changing. And then finally now to where the apes are dominant and the humans are like the apes before. They're out in the wild, they can't really learn and uh, they're just subpar in this movie. So this was uh, kind of dig deep in how it is 
And at that point, like, you know, the apes basically ruled the humans in this movie. Um, but no, I think all in all, I'd give it probably about a 4.0. 4.0 out of 5. That's a great rating. Well, I mean, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty good, like as far as the storytelling part. Um, I thought the apes, there was a lot of apes in this movie, obviously. And I thought, you know, the action sequences, some were pretty cool. I like the story. I like the main character, the main ape character. So, you know, my personal opinion, I've seen all these ape movies, okay? The last one was really, really good. Very entertaining. Um, you know, they had a lot of fighting and they had a lot of humans too. So there was a lot of different action going on between both of them. This one was kind of, um, I'm not quite sure what they were trying to accomplish in this particular movie. I don't know if they were trying to tell a backstory and then just failed telling the story. Um, I'm just not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. My rating on this movie is going to run right around a 2.3. Um, and that's because I really like the apes yeah. talking. You know, it, it, when I started thinking about it, you know, I, obviously I've seen these movies. Four is uh, a little high. Well, you, I, I think four is a little high. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to reel that. Re-rate. Well, Our first re-rating. I'm, I'm just starting to think about it, right? I'm th <laughs> thinking about even Tim Burton's and Mark Wahlberg's. You yeah, know, first they, the that was a little great. Bit you can't really even, so, you really can't but, compare this movie to but that. I do. I really compare it to the old movies with Charlton Heston. In. And when when you know he arrived and all this, so I'm gonna definitely bring it down to 3.0. He's getting knocked a whole star. Wow. Yeah. I thought it could be a lot better now that I think about it. I think John was just being generous. Uh, you know, listen, the movie definitely deserves this type of rating from us anyway. It was good action. You know, but, you know um, at that point, yeah, the storyline, yeah. It yeah, just wasn't there, so. guys. It just wasn't there. You know, uh, luckily they had really good uh, visuals and they they had a pretty girl in the movie. That was great. Um, but there wasn't like much else outside of that. And then some of the things that would happen, you were like, oh yeah, like grab those tanks or grab yeah. those guns. Yeah, right? And they just didn't do it. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, like what, what's the fun of finding all this gold if you don't take the gold, right? Yeah. It's like, boo, who leaves the gold in the mind? <laughs> Everybody takes the gold. What is wrong with you people? Oh, Anyways, man. I'm sticking with my rating and I'm so glad that I was able to convince my husband. Of I'm getting a 3.0 star rating. You can put that in 3.0 <laughs> star rating. All right, yeah, well. We wish it would have been a little better story. I'm still sure. waiting for Wolverine and Deadpool. Yes, I think that's going to be movie of the year. I'm still waiting for that. There's going to be a lot of good movies, I think, before that, though. But I don't think it's going to be to that level of that caliber of a movie that Wolverine and Deadpool are going to be. So you will just have to see. And we have no idea what we're going to see next. But wait, and you will see, and you'll hear our review. Remember, go see it for yourself. Don't just take our opinion. See what you think. You might love the movie. You might, might hate the movie. Yeah. Who knows? Just be ready with snacks. So we will see you next time at the movies. See you then. So there's this one place, and at that point, it's a thousand dollars per month, and they make you buy four to six months right then and there. Wow! So you guys are buying four to six thousand. Yeah. And you know they're telling these patients, well, it's because it's compounded specifically for you. That's not true at all. Right? They make batches of it in compounding pharmacies, and they, and they distribute when they get the, the scripts. So at that point, like we go month to month, we never put anybody in a contract or make them sure, buy like sure. so much in a month. Like it's not good. One because a the financial portion of it. Some people can't afford that. Maybe some can, great. The second part of it is it's not good for the patient because if they have a reaction to that medication, doesn't do good, it's not, they're just not getting a result. Now they're stuck with four to six months of it and they spent that much money and they can't return it. Yeah, so it's just, it's, it's another thing for them, you know. This is, be patient with me on this one. I'm just gonna feed these guys out there a little bit on uh, liver, kidneys, uh, fatty liver, um, healthy kidneys and liver. Um, don't know how this is feasible because I've been doing this since I was uh, <laughs> uh, bred into this world. Mm -hmm. This health and fitness lifestyle, this lifting weights, this eating like I have, and my kidneys and liver are fine. Yes, they are. But I know there's a lot of people out there that may be doing something um, unregistered or, 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 or going off the um, doctor visits and yep. stuff. Yep. 
I want to try to help these guys because I, I, I've seen and I've talked to these people throughout the years of going to these expos. Sorry about so long winded. No, there. no problem. They damage their kidneys and liver with what they're doing. And you have something that can help these people. Yeah, so glutathione, especially for liver functions. Fatty livers, if you're taking too much acetaminophen, if you're drinking too much alcohol, and your diet's not on point, and you a whole bunch of fried foods. These, this is the big main thing for glutathione. It will directly affect the liver functions. It will help the kidneys to a certain extent, but if you're dehydrated, high blood pressure, and all these different things, that could damage the kidneys too, and this might not be able to help. But in general, this is going to help immensely with all your vital organs in your body and your overall health, but especially with the liver, and that's a big one. Yeah, I, I wanted that information out there for these guys, because regardless of you think, um, health and fitness is fine and, and what these kids are telling you to take you, you may be listening to the wrong people yeah. either way whatever you're doing kidney and liver the, the liver healthiness this is something that I recommend to you guys to stop playing around first off I wish you would um, be smart about this and think about the long game instead of just wanting to be a champion today um, get on order titan medical do your blood work uh, make sure that everything is going fine and then if not um, glutathione for you guys absolutely we have different therapies for different things so if we find problems there we're going to try to help you out to the best of our ability if we think it needs to go any further we're going to tell you hey listen maybe a specialist needs to look at this so we can get your health in check because you have one life one body if you don't take care of that body it's not going to take care of you there we go, guys. Um, we can only give you that information. It's really up to you what you want to do. But again, from a guy that's been here since the 80s and loves this, the short term goal is a beautiful thing to have. But without that long term goal, that's that, that delayed gratification for your life, you may be setting yourself up to lose. And I'm trying to get you here over to Titan Medical so you can even, even if it's anybody, but I recommend Titan Medical. It helps you live a full life. And at the end of the day, I think that's what you guys want. Become Titan Strong. Call or text us today at 727-389-3220. Titan Medical Center is honored and privileged to be on People's Choice 2024 Best of the Best in Tampa Bay, put on by the Tampa Bay Times. This is our first year being nominated in the health and wellness category under weight loss. Voting starts June 5th and goes all the way to June 30th. We really love your support to help us out being categorized as the best of the best in Tampa Bay for at least weight loss. Of course, we do a number of other different therapies and treatments, but we do have our expertise in weight loss as well. So, Please just vote. You can go online to Tampa Bay Times and do it. Or if you also come in the office, you can just scan this nice little QR code right here and just go to health and wellness category under weight loss and recommend or vote for Titan Medical Center. I appreciate you guys. We love you guys and thank you for your support. Have you been feeling tired, down, or just not feeling like yourself? Well, when you come to Titan Medical Center, we'll get you back on track and feeling your best so you can get your priorities going and get active, start getting a good nutritional diet, improving the quality of your sleep and rest, and also improving your health, fitness, and overall quality of life. Titan Medical Center is here for all your needs. So I'm here with my awesome head nurse practitioner, Shamil, and we were talking about some different peptide therapies. And one we were talking about was CJC and ipamorelin. So with this, it's a GHRH peptide, it's a growth and releasing hormone peptide, I believe. And at that point, a lot of people ask, how can they raise their growth hormone levels? Because as we age, that starts naturally declining and starts right. things that are going down the drain per se. So how do you think it would really benefit patients out there, Chanel? Well, of course, I mean, these medications stimulate your pituitary gland to release growth hormone naturally in the body, which then subsequently raises your IGF or insulin-like growth factor levels. There's a lot of different receptors for this throughout the body. So this can help with putting on lean muscle mass, fat loss, recovery, inflammation, sleep quality, so many different areas. So 
Um, it's been working great for a lot of patients and I definitely recommend, you know, using that, especially if you want an added boost. I mean, certainly there's some natural things you can do to boost your IGF-1, like diet, exercise, sleep, all of the different aspects there, but this is a good added boost. If you want a little something else to kind of help supplement and raise those levels to help you achieve your goals faster. Absolutely. And for anti-aging purposes too, right? Because Absolutely. all these things. Man, that's awesome. Hair, skin, nails, libido, the way you sleep. I mean, these are some important things that we really need to get as people because at that point, as we age, things don't get easier. So, you know, if we can look and find some of these different awesome cutting edge therapy that Titan has for you guys, then you know what? I think this is a win-win for everybody. So thank you, Chanel, for breaking it down for everybody Absolutely. out there. And if you guys wanna know more about this therapy or other therapies, please just contact us today. Call or text 727-389-3220. And you know what? Maybe in your appointment, you'll get this awesome head nurse practitioner, Chanel, breaking down the therapies in your personalized regimen. So we look forward to hearing from you guys. Absolutely, come see me. Join the winning team. Call or text Titan Medical Center today at 727-389-3220 and start on your journey to becoming the best version of yourself. What's up guys, John here and Sharice and we're back with another Cupid's Corner segment for you guys. Uh, Cupid's Corner, if you haven't tuned in before, we always go over like tips, tricks, certain things that should help your relationship either flourish, get back to where it used to be or just ignite that flame that you guys both want, right? So this week we have some great topics for you guys. One thing is something that you guys can do. Um, I guess the second thing is something you can do too as well, right? For sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the first thing, let's get into it. So now that this COVID deal is calming down a little bit, I guess, we'll in call certain it states, the calm. you know, it's calming down. So hopefully we don't get any other spikes or any crazy stuff. No. The first one is visiting your partner's hometown. Mm -hmm. You can learn a lot about somebody from where they come from. Mm -hmm. Honestly, really. Um, and usually it's different parts of the country. There's different things going on, right? Right. So people act different, people de dress different, they talk different, they eat, you know, maybe some different foods and stuff like that. So it's always good to, you know, see where your partner came from, you know, especially if they're really good people and stuff like that. And they like the place where they came from. You know, some people don't. They're like, I came from a small town. I don't want to go back to that small town. I never said I'd go back there, you know, but it is what it is. You know, that's what makes you. That's where you're part of. Yeah. Right. So. You know, with me and Sharice, Sharice came here when she was five years old to Tampa, Florida. So when I met her, I mean, it wasn't really crazy about, you know, getting to see her hometown because I already knew the hometown, right? Right. I mean, but, you know, you don't just get to see the hometown. Let's be realistic here. You don't go to the hometown to see just the hometown. You usually go to the hometown to be like, hmm. Well, in my scenario, I'm like, hmm, are there any lingering friends around here? Ooh. So, you know, you just like to know what's going on. You know, that's me personally anyway. Um, but, you know, as, as far as me, his friends, like his <laughs> old school friends, you know, from high school and stuff like that. For instance, we went up there for your... Um, was it your tenure? It was tenure, tenure reunion. Tenure, right? And I got to meet some of the God, people he went to military school with, which yeah. was pretty cool because, you know, it's uh, he went to school with these people, and military school is a little bit different than public high school. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a little bit smaller of a group, and I'm sure that they have, you know, really tight relationships. So it's good to hear the old school stories about John and what he did and how he did it because those are funny stories. Oh, yeah. And don't let John tell you because, you know, my hometown's here in Tampa. We'll call it that. Um, but you know, he's ran into people that I went to high school with, um, you know, and got some, you know, cute little stories out of it too, but it's nice to visit hometowns because usually that's how you get some of the background history on someone, yeah. you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be, oh, they came from Brazil or, you know, whatever it might be. I went to Chicago. Right. I got to meet like all his friends that were DJs and go out of the house and music <laughs> clubs and get to see what was going on. Now, of course, this is like. 12 years ago Gosh. um but it was fun it was fun you know it was, i i loved going to chicago yeah, i was like sure. oh yeah we get to go out have a good old time you know 
But yeah, it's good. It's I mean, good. it's good. You know, and I, I like showing Sharice like where I came from and kind of what I had to go through and stuff like that because it's just different. Mm -hmm. People grow up different. People do different things. You know, mm -hmm. they don't experience these different things unless they've actually lived them themselves or they've seen them. And mm -hmm. most of the stuff that I grew up doing, I don't think Sharice has experienced before. Example, come uh, on, the big one. A big one's a horse. Snowmobiling. Horses. I used to race and, and show horses. Who would think, John? Uh, yeah, I know. horses. So, yeah. So, That's cool. You know, just a lot of different <laughs> things, you know, like where my old house was, where I grew up at. I got to show Sharice that and stuff like that. Meet a variety of my different friends that she's never met before. You know, I only get one that really comes down and visits me all the time. But, yeah. uh, you know, they're up there. And it was just cool, you know, showing Sharice, like, where I went to high school at um, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Just, it was cool. It brings back memories for me. It was good to share those memories with Sharice. I had good memories, thank God. And, uh, you know, it was just cool. So she's, she learned a little bit more about me and where I came from, mm -hmm. which increases that bond that that connection between you two now you know a little bit more about each other when you know more about somebody it usually increases the bond and tightens things i agree you know so it was really really cool so that was cool so that's the first one the first thing that we want to offer you guys for advice is make sure you guys are seeing the hometown of where or city where your you know your loved one or partner came from mm -hmm. and that way you can see you know their origins or kind of where they came from and, and maybe understand them a little bit better right right so that's just one so the second one and this is kind of where i dealt like you know it was teeter-tottering like you know these are things you should do but this is something you should not do <laughs> okay and i see it all the time um and this is don't compare your relationship mm -hmm. to other people's relationships. Okay, I see it all the time. I see a girl, I want my relationship to be like this. Or I want it to be like that. You know, at that point, you're setting some expectations that could be very, very high that you might not hit goal-wise. Right. Right? Um, because if you see so, and, and different things work for different people. Your relationship and your boundaries or what you and your partner are, are okay with might be totally different from the couple that you're emulating or emulating, you, you want to be like. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, that's where it comes into play. Like, make your own path. Mm -hmm. Do your own thing. If, you know, you set your own boundaries with your partner, you have your own experience with your partner, you set what is okay with you and your partner. Mm -hmm. That's what's your guys' thing. Right, right, right. And, and comparing that to somebody else's relationship, you know, like I said, you might be setting yourself up for failure because your partner might not be that person like that's in that relationship, might not act the same way, might not do the exact same things. And you have your, your mindset like, this is how I want it. This is how it's going to be. And when that person doesn't come through, now you're disappointed. Now there's, you know, there, there could be some friction between you guys. You know, there might be some issues. So that's really where it's at. And another one that goes right along with this don't compare your relationship to your last relationships. Oh, that's an ugly one. That that's horrible. And don't bring it up. Don't, you bringing it up don't to the person is, is bad business. Like you know what? He used to get me these kind of chocolates. Yep. I like those chocolates way better. Yeah. Do not yep. do that. My ex <laughs> never did this to me. Like how many times have you heard that? Yeah. Like, probably a lot. I think right? everybody does it right at some point. I, I, I think you know it, it is a mistake that people do do. It's usually like your amateur mistakes. That's it usually is. like your uh, after the honeymoon period because everybody has honeymoon period. Yep. Uh, me and John are lucky to have honeymoon period <laughs> twelve years later, right? Um, but you know, it's like kind of after that honeymoon period where the yeah, you know, I feel like it's that amateur hour where you're still learning each other and you know, it kind of you might reminisce about what happened in the past with maybe one of your other significant others yep. or a past husband or yep. a past wife yep. um, that they did something that, you know, let's just say this one doesn't do. Mm -hmm. um, I just, you probably should just don't, just don't bring it up. Maybe if you want it, if you want it that bad, for instance, let's just say your last wife cooked all the time, right? And your new wife doesn't cook, right? You're going to want to make sure that you don't say anything about the last wife cooking and maybe nonchalantly say something yeah. about you wanting dinner every night. Yep. yep. <laughs> you know, yep. just, hey, honey, I love your cooking. Can you cook again yep. tomorrow and the next day and this weekend and the next day? Absolutely. So there's, <laughs> way, there's ways to phrase things or to ask for things without making the comparison mm -hmm. to the ex. 
And, and like I said, people are going to be more defensive when you say something like that. Like my ex, you know, like, oh, well, why don't you go back to your ex then? Or, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm not your ex. You yeah. know, it is what it is. Yeah. So, I mean, there's ways to ask, you know, like I said, if it's whether it's in the bedroom, it's out of the bedroom, the way your relationship is or is handled or, or certain things you guys say to each other. You know, this is where you guys set the boundaries. And really, you guys should set that in the beginning of the relationship. Uh, you know, be honest, communicate. We said that a million times over and over. But communicate, you know, what you want or what the boundaries are going to be or, or how you like things or what you expect. Well, not even that, though. I mean, honestly, let's be realistic. I mean, I, what, I, what I expected was Sharice. I told her, listen, you're going to be my girl. You're going to cook and clean. I didn't know how to cook, and I did. I did so I had to teach her both because you got to be able to do it to be able to teach somebody, right? I, listen, I, it's the truth. I'm not lying. You know, so, I didn't. I, I, I no, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, I, I was saying, you know, realistically, I really think that you know, even over time, that you build those boundaries together. Like some boundaries might change, some things might be, you know, you might adjust things throughout the relationship. Yeah. So you know, that's a good way to just build it together. Sure. You know, you're going to build it together on sure. what is expected of each other sure. and not have to you know do any comparisons issues are going to arise the best way to do is communicate about the issues get the issues cleared away set up the boundaries know where each other's heads at get on the same page mm -hmm. i think that's a, that's another big mistake a lot of people don't do they don't get on the same page or they lose the page they were on with their partner yeah and that's a whole different subject you know so at that point you want to make sure you guys communicate because that's key and just make sure that you guys are not comparing your ex to your new relationship. Because yeah, that's bad. You obviously left the ex or the past relationship for some reason. Right. Okay? It didn't work out, right? That's why they're their ex. Exactly. So <laughs> at that point, you know, you're thinking through your head. You're like, you know, all these bad things. But this one good thing this person did for me. All right. So at that point, listen, your partner, your new partner could be able to do those things for you. Mm -hmm if you ask properly or you set the boundaries or expectations that way. And that way they know and they, they, they understand how you feel and, and you guys are communicating like this, which is, like I said, it's key to any relationship, business relationship, mm -hmm. right? Emotional love relationship. I mean, mm -hmm. it's key to have. So just make sure you guys are following these little guidelines because I promise you guys, it will save you a lot of hurt, a lot of time, and a lot of problems. Okay? <laughs> Think about it. You guys have it easy. Me and John have to create all these boundaries on so many different levels. <laughs> Business, <laughs> emotional, bedroom, outside, yeah. everything. You yeah. know, I got like 80 levels of different boundaries we had to create. Yeah. I mean, it took us, you know, a solid 12 years. I think we're pretty solid on this now. You know, yeah. it's, easy. it's easy, it's cake, but you know, it takes time. Yeah, di different experiences, could bring up different questions and yeah. those questions need to be answered by both of you guys coming together and coming up with a plan yep. basically and that plan will set you guys up for relationship success yes and that is key relationship success because that's what you guys are going for right that's what people get in relationships or should get in relationships for there shouldn't be any ulterior motives it should be genuine you guys should want to be together usually you guys are the happiest in the first couple months or year or whatever it is mm -hmm. and that kind of wears off it hasn't worked out for us, so just keep it alive, man. And I'll come up with like five different ways to keep your relationship alive in the next coming episodes. Ooh. So you guys want to make sure you guys stay tuned every Sunday to <laughs> Cupid's Corner with me and Sharice, right? Or you guys can catch it on our Facebook. Make sure you guys are checking out Instagram. YouTube has all of these great videos and all of our different segments from our TV show. So make sure you guys are checking that out too. Don't forget, if you want to feel better, look better, and perform better, then you got to call us, 727-389-3220. You can text us as well, and we'll catch you next Sunday.